Welcome back to Dell Technology World 2021, Dell Tech World, the virtual edition. My name is Dave Vellante. We're going to talk about the edge. Very excited to invite Per Luca Cidelli, who's the Vice President of Product Management for the Edge Portfolio at Dell. And Gil Schnorrensen, who's the Senior Vice President, Edge Portfolio, also at Dell Technologies. Gentlemen, great to see you. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, great to see you. Yeah, great to see you guys too. Wish we were face to face, but maybe maybe in 22. Uh, Gil, Gil, let's start with you. you know, the edge is very exciting. Uh, it's you know not really defined. It's very fragmented, but it's there. You, you know, it's kind of you know it when you see it. What do you get excited about when you think about the edge? I think uh, well, there's two elements. The first one is that um, we all live at the edge. In other words, the the, the the areas we deal with are around us every day. When we show up. Um, when we, uh, you know, when we uh, consume, when we drive. So it's a, it's a very physical type of, of activity. We know it's there. Um, what's really exciting about it to me is that, um, and you started with talking about fragmentation right off the bat, um, it is a great opportunity for Dell Technologies to add value. Um, because it's so fragmented, because it's so new, because it has developed and evolved the way it is, uh, we see an amazing opportunity for us to add much more value than we do today and solve problems that have yet to be solved in the industry. And, and Perluka, it's an exciting, it's almost like an, an infinite playground for a technologist. <laughs> I mean, you, you that, that, uh, Dave, I think that's exactly what we find out. Uh, the edge is very exciting. There is a lot of motion, especially due to the pandemic and other things, big factor that accelerate the innovation at the edge. But this is an inorganic acceleration, and what it chaos uh, for one uh, most of our customers is also confusion, right? Uh, the need to apply multiple solution, but not very organized. So you try to solve the outcome, like having uh, the right production on the on your line because demand is surging, but you don't have an organic things to do that and solve the problem. So you see a lot of silos coming in for each one of the solution. And that's what Gil was referring. That's a great opportunity for us as Dell with the, the breadth of the portfolio we have and what our team, that is a new team, is focusing doing is to bring that idea to be able to consolidate multiple things at the edge and process things at the edge. We did a, um, an event, a Cube had an event called Cube on Cloud in Q1 and we had John Rose on and the title of the segment was something like gaining the technology edge and we were kind of geeking out on, on the tech at the edge. Uh, and, and my takeaway there was, uh, we were trying to be like, what is the edge? It's like, well, it's the place where it makes most sense to process the data. And so that brings up a lot of challenges. There are technical challenges and there are business challenges. I, I wonder if we could sort of dig into those a little bit. How, how do you guys look at that? Maybe Gil, you want to start maybe on the business side and, and then we can dig into sure. the tech. Um, the, the way things evolved, if you think about it, um, at the edge are very verticalized and because of that, um, they're very use case driven. And so in every industry possible, you start with some business person making a decision whether they have a need or they want to grow their business. And so for example, they would buy an appliance to do fraud protection in, in retail or de detection in retail or they would apply an application to manage robotics in the factory and it would come with its own gateway and plant compute and a cloud portal. And then you do it again and again and again, every time you have a business opportunity, all of a sudden you have this proliferation of IT type equipment at the end where it's the, it's the worst place to have it really because you don't have the right IT resources and you are um, in, in the need to protect it in a much more, um, in a different way than you do in a data center. And so um, all of that um, brings to bring us to a point that, you know, we see an opportunity to simplify. Um, and so not only simplification, is, and this is, you know, simplification or simplicity is the most important driver for any IT purchase. Um, things that are simple are the easiest and the most economical to operate. The next demand that we see from our customer is security. Um, because things are at the edge, they have a much uh, more, um, you know, um, extended um, attack surface. Um, they need to be connected to networks. They need to be connected without IT staff. So if you can simplify and secure, you can really unlock amazing value by processing data where closely to where it's created. Without it, you know, we're seeing this opportunity as businesses, but we can really get to it because there are so those two hurdles in front of us. 
So, Perluca, when you thank you for that, Gil. When you think about when you hear you hear a lot about AI inferencing at the edge, and and if you if you think about AI today, much of the work is modeling. You know, it's done in the cloud. But you're not going to be doing AI inferencing in real time in the cloud. You know, you take take the autonomous yep. vehicle example. So that brings some some technical challenges. Um, there's obviously data challenges. I, I, I'm curious as to how you think about that. I mean, we always talk about how much data is going to be persisted. I think Tesla persists like five minutes of data, all right? But some of it is going to go back, that's true. But a lot of it is going to be processed real time. And that's just really different than the way we typically think about IT. Yeah, absolutely. So at the edge, uh, um, especially in manufacturing, um, we see right now, or in, a, um, in, in other use case, it's very important to get uh, the outcome very quickly. Now, you don't use that a uh, deep learning model for that. You need to just understand, for example, in a computer vision uh, use case where you take image of your production line, you actually, to your point, Dave, you not keep those image, you keep the image where you have the defect. But you need to process that AI ML needs to be intelligent enough to understand that you have a defect and send that image then to the cloud. So the search of the data at the edge is a very important factor. And why you need to process data at the edge? Because as your point, you can't wait to send to the cloud and then waiting, right? Um, Tesla is a clear example of that, all the autonomous car where you need to react instantaneously to a change. But in manufacturing, for example, that is our focus for now is, for example, the robots, that if you need to optimize the robot, you need to have a immediate understanding of where the pieces are and when they need to put and the tolerance need to be act immediately. Otherwise you come out with the thousand of pieces that they are not in the right tolerance. So at, at, at the end of the day, what we see is not only the surge of the need of processing AI ML to the edge, but also the need of a new type of compute at the edge. So in the past was just gateway and you'd get the gateway and you send the data to the cloud. Now it's a form of a new compute that in con, con, has also GPU capability and other things to process this data. So very important. And I think the, uh, Dell, especially, we are very focused on that because is uh, is really where the customer need to extract the value. And thank you. And Gil, I want to get, Gil, into the unique value proposition of Dell and you know, what makes you distinct. And it's, if I infer from your comments, your strategy, you said, is to simplify. And so I see two vectors there. One is to simplify at the edge. The other is to, where, where needed, connect that edge, whether it's on-prem, a public cloud, cross-cloud, that kind of simplification layer that abstracts the complex, the underlying complexity. Maybe you could talk about your strategy and what makes you guys different. Sure. Um, we've been talking to our, well, we always talk to our customers and we've been doing uh, business at the edge for many, many years. Um, you know, let's call it coincidental. We're a very large company. We have reached, we serve our customers. So when they decide to buy something for their edge, you know, environments, they come to us as well as other vendors. And we win a percentage of the time based on our market share. Um, but when we decided to take another look at how can we be even more relevant, we started talking to a lot of them in great depth. And what we, what we discovered was the problem I talked about before, the problem of complexity, the problem of security and the problem of you know um, choice. And so our focus is to do what we do best. We, at, at the end of the day, we're an IT company um, and our, our customers for the most part are IT people. And, we see them dragged more and more into edge projects because customers need to connect edge to their network and they need to security. And that's how it starts. And so those worlds of IT and OT are coming together um, and they're coming together applying IT best practices, which is exactly what we know how to do. And so because of that, we think that they need to think about architecture versus unique siloed solutions. Architecture that can support multiple use cases that can grow with time consolidate more and more use cases as they grow, simplify what they do by applying, um, you know, tried and true or tried and true um, IT best practices in a secure manner. So the Dell approach um, would be doing that, taking a more architectural approach to the edge versus a use case. And then just like you predicted, um, meet the customers where they are from an application standpoint. 
And so we, we know that a lot of applications are, are growing and be developed on a hyperscaler or public cloud. We would like to connect to those. We would like to allow them to keep working as they have, except when they run it at the edge. Think about environments that could consolidate multiple workloads and not solve it for each one at the same time. And so that would be our overall approach. That's what we're working on. Yeah, so okay, so that horizontal layer, if you will, uh, to, to, to serve many, many use cases, not just, you're not going to go you know, a mile deep into one and be the expert at some narrow use case. You want to be that horizontal platform. But at the same time, Perluca, I wonder, does, does that call for more programmability as we, uh, over time of the, of the products to, to really allow people to kind of design in that flexibility, if you will, uh, you know, build, build my own. Uh, is that something that we can expect? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we spoke a little bit about this before the interview and the things that is very important is uh, composability starting from a very small front factor to the um, cluster and then expand to the cloud is a fundamental things and a trend that we see. The fact that you can compose the infrastructure um, starting from a small gateway that is changing in this market, right? Uh, up to the cloud and be able to use the same layer that allow you to run the same application is a fundamental thing. And we are working on that. Um, we are working on this vision and our strategy is really to be able to be transparent, but provide the right building block to do all the use case that they are required where the data are. So we, again, not only meeting the customer, but meeting where the data are produced what the customer wants out of those data. So that's a fundamental things. And, you know, we, we have Project Apex. So obviously we are plugging in the Project Apex uh, from an edge point of view, will allow the customer to have this unique experience to go in Apex and also deploy the edge infrastructure that is needed. So that's, that's we starting right now with that. So we will touch later, but that's the first building block of that journey. Actually, let's touch now, right? You got some news around Apex and 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 and, and talk. What, what are you announcing? At, at so we, we are very exciting because uh, uh, as I said, our team is uh, it's pretty new and um, it's a very important investment that Dell makes, uh, uh, not only in us as a team, but as a motion. Um, so we are announcing a reference architecture with PTC. PTC is uh, one of the biggest company for um, actually based here in Boston. Uh, for uh, manufacturing and this uh, uh, reference architecture will be run on based on Apex private cloud. So the customer can go to the portal or then order Apex private cloud and deploy um, deploy PTC on top of that. So very important things is uh, the first step in this journey and but it's, a, it's an important very very important step. So we want to thank you also PTC to allow us to work with them. Um, we have other stuff as well that we are announcing. Um, I, I don't know if you are familiar, but we have a very unique streaming data platform. Um, streaming data platform uh, that can stream multiple uh, data collected from Gateway and from every place. And uh, it's a need. Uh, obviously, when you need to process data in real time, it's very important to have a streaming. What we're doing with the new streaming data platform approach is uh, the ability to deploy the single node, so it can be very ap uh, appealing for the edge and up to three nodes. Awesome, that's great. So I, I, a couple comments on that. So it's funny, we did the live work show in theCUBE a couple of years ago, PTC's uh, a big big event. And it was, it was like, it was the edge. And I remember looking around saying, Geez, where's all the IT vendors? And so that's great to see you guys, you know, leaning in like that. Uh, per Luca, the streaming platform, t tell me more about that. What, what's the tech behind it? Uh, so the streaming data platform is a project that we start a couple of years ago is uh, actually uh, start from open source Pravega. Um, it's, uh, it's a very interesting technology where you can stream multiple data. It's, it's not a traditional storage. Uh, use a technology that uh, can really collect thousands of different streams. And that's very important when you need to mine the data, uh, bring the data um, in uh, the unstructured data in a, in a, in a fashion that you, you can process them at the real time, it's very important. So um, there, there are very cool use case of that. 
Um, but now that we look at the, the edge, this is make more and more tangible sense because we have a lot of partners that they're working with us, especially to extend when you have all this sensor, you bring the data to the gateways and from the gateways, then you can use data streaming platform to collect all these streams and then you can easily process them. So it's, it's a very fundamental technology. We are very proud of that. Um, as I said, our enterprise version uh, is getting more and more, and now we can land this on different architecture. So it's, uh, it's, it can be backed by an Isilon. Uh, it can be also on different storage type now. And as I said, we're looking now to bring from a what was a data center kind of structure down to the edge because now we can put a single node up to three nodes. It makes so, a lot of sense. Is this like a Kafka based thing or open source or is it something you guys built or a combination? So it, it's a combination. We uh, actually project, uh, the project is an open source project, but we did that. Uh, we started this uh, many years ago and uh, um, it works with Kafka, but he's not Kafka. So it's, it's a, uh, he has plugin that can work with Kafka and all the other things. And, and it's, uh, it's very easy to deploy. So it's a very, um, very, very important. And the other things is the scalability of this platform. That's all, I mean, that sounds like the kind of thing you had in the labs and you said, okay, this is going to be important. And then boom, all of a sudden the market comes to you. What, yeah. what is it about manufacturing? Why, why did you start there? I can take this. Um, we looked at where the opportunity was from, from two perspectives. One is where the opportunity, what are, what well, the opportunity is to sell, even the other one obviously comes with it because there is an opportunity to help. And uh, manufacturing today at the edge is about 30% of the opportunity in sales, um, according to IDC, but um, more so it's been around for the longer time. And so they, it's very, it's maturing. Um, it's the most demanding. Um, and, and you know, the, the, it's got very long horizons of, of investment. And what we did was we figured that if we can solve problem for industry, we can then extend that and solve it for everybody else. Because this would be the, the toughest one to solve. And we like challenge. And then so we decided to focus and go deep. And you said it before, well, our approach is definitely a horizontal approach. We cannot take an horizontal approach without verticalizing and understanding specific needs. So nobody can avoid doing both at the same time. You need to understand but you also want to solve it in a way that doesn't proliferate the silos. And so that's our role. We will understand, but we will make it more generic so other people can leverage it later on. And, and, and Dave, if I can add, uh, I think uh, the manufacturing is also very exciting for us as a technologist, right? Uh, and uh, Dell technology as in the name, the technology. So it's very exciting because uh, if I look at manufacturing, we, we are really in the middle of a, industrial transformation. I mean, it's a new era. Um, if you think about um, nobody care in the past to connect their machinery with that they have PLC to the network. All of this is changing because the, the, the life that where we live right now with the pandemic, with the remote working, with the fact that you need to have a much more control and be able to have predictive maintenance so you're not stopping your manufacturing is pushing the entire manufacturing industry to connect this machinery. And with the connectivity of this machinery, you get a lot of data, you get also a lot of challenge, for example, security. So now that's the place where connectivity brings the IT aspect in and the OT guys now they starting to speak with the guys because now it's a more complex things, right? It's not any more computerized compatibilize only to one machinery specific is the entire floor. So it's a very interesting um, dynamics. Is the connection between that programmable logic controller and uh, the Dell solution, is, is uh, you mentioned to secure it, you know, better security. And I presume it's also to connect back to whatever the core or the cloud, uh, yeah. et cetera. Is it also to do you know, something locally? Does it improve? Is there value add that you can provide locally? And what is that value add? Absolutely. So the, the value add, as I said, um, if you think uh, right uh, in the past, right, you have a machine that uh, probably stay in the manufacturer for 20, 25 years, then you have an hardware attached to that machine that is the PLC about 11 years. The guy that he knows better about that machine is actually not the 
software component on it, but he's the guy that has been working on that machine for 15 years. Now, how you translate that knowledge to a learning algorithm that actually can do that for thousands of machines? And, and that's really the key, right? You need to centralize some information, process those information, but not in the cloud, not in a central data center, but on the manufacturing floor. And you need to have a way to represent these things in a very simple way so the plant manager can take action or the, or the guy that is responsible for the entire line can take action immediately. And that's where, where the change is. It's not anymore to, it's trying to extend that knowledge to multiple uh, machine, multiple floor, and try to get this change immediately. So, so that's really important. So the, so the PLC doesn't become a general purpose computer or even necessarily an Uber computer. It connects to that right. capability because that enables data sharing across clouds and, 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 and the like. That's level. enabled the entire things. You know, you, you can't do a model just with one source. You need to have multiple sources. Um, and also think about the manufacturing is changing not only for the machinery, but uh, people that they build new manufacturing, right? They need to be smart building. They need to have technology for being more green, solar, energy consumption. So the manufacturing itself is mean five or six different things that you need to solve. It's not just the machine. So this uh, idea of the silos environment is, is starting to collapse in one. And that's why it's important for us to start from a vertical, but also in the manufacturing, you already see this will expand to multiple things, also like smart building and other things, because they need it. Yeah, the Red Guild, to your point, if you, manufacturing is like the big apple. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere, and you've got adjacencies that, that you, can, you, know, you can take the learnings from manufacturing and apply them to those adjacent industries. Uh, uh, Gil, give us the last word. Um, look, usually when we talk at um, Dell Technologies World, we talk to an IT audience. And we were, uh, we're thinking this year that the way to talk about edge, at least with the, the people who traditionally buy from us is expose them to the fact that they are more and more going to be responsible for edge projects. And so our advice would be our hope that they would partner with us to think ahead, just like they do with data center with their cloud strategy, think ahead as they think about their edge and try to set up some architectural guidelines. So when they do get the request, they're ready for it. And think about what they know, think about the IT best practices that they applied. All of that is coming to them. They need to be prepared as well. And so we would like to partner with all of our customers to make them ready and obviously help them you know, simplify, secure, consolidate as they grow. Well guys, thank you. I learned a lot today. I, I, we made a lot of progress. You know, this is the hallmark of Dell, right? It's a very high, let me make sure I get this right. Very high do to say ratio, right? As you guys talked about doing this, you know, a couple a couple years ago uh, and, and you've made a lot of progress and I really appreciate you coming on theCUBE to explain the strategy. It makes a lot of sense. And so congratulations and, uh, and good luck in the future. Thank, thank you. you thank you. All right, and thank you for watching everybody. This is Dave Vellante for theCUBE's ongoing coverage of Dell Tech World 2021, the virtual edition. Keep it right there, be right back.